In this clip, we are going to measure an angle, a horizontal angle between points A, B and C. The instrument is set up at point A and we have points B and C denoted by ranging rods in the distance. Before any measurement takes place, it's important to remove parallax from the crosshairs. Once parallax has been taken out, the crosshairs should be nice and sharp. So parallax is removed by placing a white sheet of paper in front of the telescope and turning the focusing screw at the eyepiece of the telescope until they are sharply in focus. Now, to measure the first reading, sight on to the ranging rod at point B. Sight as close to the bottom of the ranging rod as possible. This eliminates any errors caused by non-verticality of the staff. Use the slow motion screw to centre exactly onto the, cent the centering rod. The horizontal angle can be set to zero degrees and recorded as face left to point B. Now take a face left to point C by simply rotating the alidade and sighting again onto point C as far down as possible on the ranging rod. This will again eliminate any errors caused by non-verticality of the ranging rod to ensure you get the accurate point on the ground. The angle is read directly from the horizontal output on the digital display and recorded in the field book. The next stage is to measure face right. This is achieved by transiting the telescope and rotating the alidade. You sight onto point C once again as low as possible on the ranging rod. Face right should give you a reading exactly 180 degrees different to face left and this is a check on your initial measurement. Face right is recorded into the field book in the appropriate section and can be checked immediately to see for error. The final reading to close a round of angles is turning onto face right to station B, the initial point. Again, the instrument is sighted as low as possible down onto the ranging rod to avoid any verticality errors with the ranging rod. The reading is recorded as face right onto point B. And again, this should be exactly 180 degrees different from the initial reading. Any difference between face left and face right, which is above or below 180 degrees, is an error caused either by the observer, non-verticality of the staff, or incorrect levelling of the instrument.